A half hour before Meadow Sinner was shot and killed in her home, she texted Sam Batten, the founder and executive director of the Colorado Youth Congress. I got a text from her at 1.59 p.m., really long text saying, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for believing in me. Sam wants people to know about the 16-year-old who wanted to change the world. Through CYC, Meadow was already working to bring more mental health supports to schools. I know Meadow cared about domestic violence. I know Meadow cared about mental health and gun safety. She wanted everybody to live happy, full, healthy lives. And she knew that these things got in the way. And it was so clear when you talked to her that she was a powerful force. And she had this whole life ahead of her of leadership, of bringing joy and love to her community. And that's no longer a possibility. Meadow became a victim of the very things she was fighting to change. Meadow could be anybody's daughter or our neighbor or our friend. And I think it's on all of us to make sure that we honor her death, the death of her mom. At the Colorado Youth Congress, they will honor her memory with action. Katie Eastman, Nine News. Meadow had four siblings who are now being taken care of by their grandmother. Colorado Youth Congress set up a GoFundMe on their behalf. You can donate to the family through that link on our website.